Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Geek Tech Show. In today's video, we have something brand new for you. It's a Nando Timberland review. This is the Lincoln Park edition, just like the song Lincoln Park. And we are skipping the sniffing test because it's not healthy anymore. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, definitely a lot of garbage in here. Ta da! He got the shoes. Man, so much junk for this supposedly eco-friendly company. Ta-da! There we go. So, am I impressed? No. Do I like it? Not sure. Right off the bat, I can smell the stink all over from here. And yes, I did cheat. They do the sniff test. This thing pretty hardcore, that's for sure. On the bottom we have the tracks. It's like tire tracks right on here. We have really soft material over here for this. We have some black leather. This is actually suede. It doesn't really feel like leather to me. It feels more like suede. The oh, oh, it's like super cheap leather. Either one of those. This thing, it actually is way less impressive than it looks. If you're about to get one of those, do not. It doesn't look good. It just doesn't. It looks super extremely cheap. It's kind of heavy. When you look at this in front of you, you can tell the material is just not up to snatch, not up to notch, whatever you call it. It just doesn't look as good as I looked in the picture. Unfortunately, sometimes the pictures make the product look so much better than it really is. Let's go up, up close and personal to check it out so you can see by yourself what I'm talking about. Up close and personal, you can really tell that this thing doesn't look as good as it's supposed to look. Now you might say, hey, this thing does look kind of cool. It looks like a boot. What else is it supposed to look like? But if you can see here, the material, you can tell already, it's already like going right inside of it. It just feels... And I will tell you exactly my, my problem with this. It's not the looks just the way the material feels it feels extremely brutal like really cheap rattle all around that they added to this it's like they, they put as little as possible it's like it just feels like very there's just not enough the material and you can really tell right here too that it just feels like there's just not enough insulation and with the weather, it just feels like that it's going to eventually rip. Now, I could be wrong on this, but that's how I feel about this. That's how it actually feels when I touch it, too. And the looks of it, not as great as well. So let's go and do, like, on feet test and see how this feels. And if it actually feels as bad as it looks. Oh, wow, this feels like I'm a damn clown walking on the street. This is why I love doing those shoe reviews. Especially Timberland when it's a hit or miss with those shoes. I don't know what's wrong with this company. It's really going down the tubes. 
It's like somebody didn't even bother to go ahead and put them on when they made this. This is just terrible. Make sure you double nut this thing because it just opens up. I don't know if this shoe is going to get the lowest rating of any shoes I ever reviewed yet because this is just asking for it. Okay. And we can start with number one reason I hate those shoes the noise. You can hear somebody squat like this. And the noise is just terrible. Imagine walking like a mile away and all the hill is like quack quack quack. Whoa ho! Okay. Noise enough. Some people don't care about the noise. Some people care about the looks. Let's go for the looks then. Now I feel like I'm put my feet inside some kind of a garbage can because it just feels so cheap those shoes is like it feels like they're gonna rip apart in a few days <laughs> like, a, like this recyclable garbage I'm stepping on <laughs> okay but how do they feel mm. It has a wide variety of, of motion, that's for sure. It doesn't, it's not even true to size. This thing is, I'm size 9. This feels like 9.5. So if you're getting this, you, you gotta really, 9, you gotta go 8.5, something. It doesn't feel like 9, it feels like 9.5. So, you figure it out yourself what size you should get but do not get the size that you're wearing because it's just a little bit too large half a size too large <laughs> it's just ridiculous now I'm gonna be doing a jumping test now see if you can even jump on them hear that sound definitely this is a failure <laughs> this shoe is just a this shoe is just a joke like, you really think uh you, you wouldn't pay me enough to well it's, it's just that bad i would say that avoid do not get this is this is just bad this is just unless somebody gives it as a gift to you i would just give it to the homeless or something it's just terrible I mean, I, I would not even make them well. Jesus Christ. This is like, did, did anybody even bother to, to do a quality control? Do they even have people who go ahead and test those things out before they put them into production? I don't know what's wrong with this company. It's going down the tubes. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. But... I, I think it's like I, I will I would give them a two out of ten because you can still wear those shoes. It's still better than nothing. They they do solve the purpose of being shoes, but that's about it. This is just this is just terrible. Do not get. It will be the laughing stock of the whole town. Okay. And, and this is 90% of the problems I have the shoes right now is squeaking and they make the worst noise and I seen Timberlands that make some noise but this this is it this is the worst I'm glad I'm, I got those just for the review this is like a joke over shoe so make up your own mind do you agree with me or not post down below what you think of those shoes and you're gonna get them regardless of my <laughs> recommendation not to get do not get this junk don't so I put those on and you can see that why I rate them so low this shoe the sound it makes is just terrible in my opinion it's a good idea that a lot of companies are moving into eco-friendly things because the environment you have to save it 
but you're not saving the environment by making a product that is totally low on quality. People are going to disregard it more. The product is going to not last too long. And although you're making the product with inferior materials, which is supposed to be good for the environment and recyclable, you have to make a quality product that's going to last. There has to be a balance between the two. And this fails at this. Wearing it just once, I can see that this is hardly stitched in. This is going to separate very fast. It's just the way it looks like it hardly was glued in. It's like somebody just like stomped this in. And the stitching, that doesn't look to be a very good job either. Overall, this is a, just a fail. This is really a fail out of something that could have been a good product. With lack of quality control, with lack of anybody testing, like, do you even care that it makes this squeaky sound? This is a big tone off, and it announces you for miles away. I don't know if this sound is going to go away over time. I, I guess if you're not going to be walking in any surface that can make those noise, maybe hiking or in the woods where nobody can hear you for miles, it makes a little bit of justice to it. Other than that, this is just this is just a joke. It's just not a good shoe. I don't know if Timberland is listening to me. I hope they do. Up the quality control. Test those products out before you get them out of the factory. It's just not a good product. There's a lot of things that needs to be improved here. Better quality material. Put in more time into quality control. Make sure that the stitching goes well. Make sure these things, these things don't, are not going to rip apart after a while. And don't make the squeaky sound. This is like the worst thing about this shoe, period. And also don't make them feel cheap and look cheap as well. The only good thing is this right here. You can see right there, this is probably the only selling point of this shoe. This feels pretty good. It gives you a lot of balance and it gives you, when you step on things, you're not going to feel them as bad. Other than that, this is the only good thing about this shoe. So overall, it's a no. It's a big down. Two stars, minus even two. Terrible. Do not get those shoes. Stay away from those Timberlands. It's a hit or miss with Timberlands anyway, but this is just terrible. I don't know what's wrong with the company, but they have designed one of the worst shoes I have ever reviewed on this channel. So that award goes to Timberland. Lincoln Park awarded the worst shoe of the decade. <laughs> it's probably one of the worst shoes I ever reviewed so far. What do you guys think about this? Do you think I'm justified in reviewing this, a two-star rating? If so, let me know below. If not, let me know below as well. Of course, if you do enjoy this video and you agree with me, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know below if you want to see any more shoe reviews and videos. Mm, not bad. I could squeeze this. Hey, it does have a purpose. You can go ahead and do some exercise.